know the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world? Would He let Him take away your sin? Would He let Him redeem you today? Would He let Him be your Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ? Come to Him. Jesus said, I will not reject any who come to me, but you must come to Him, the Savior Jesus. We, you can come to us, we'll give you something, a sort of prayer that you might say to receive Jesus, but you've Praise got to come Lord. to Jesus. It's no good going to a building. A building didn't die for you. The church is not a building. The church is people. People who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. When you come to Jesus, you're in the church. When you've joined Jesus, you join the church. We are the church. People say to me, what church? What church are you from? I say, how can we be from something that we are? We are the church. If you come to Jesus, you are the church. You have been reconciled to your heavenly Father through Christ Jesus. The one shed blood of Jesus Christ has availed for you. You have trusted the sacrifice of God. You have put your faith in somebody outside of yourself. You cannot save yourself. No man can save himself. The Saviour God came down to do a work of salvation for us. That when we're saved, God is our Saviour. Have you got it? God has got to be your Saviour. What God has done has got to be the means of your salvation. The only one who can save you from your sin is the one Almighty God. And He has done it in Christ Jesus. When Jesus died there, He cried out, It is finished! Hallelujah! The greatest word ever uttered in the history of the world. Totally done! Totally accomplished! The one shed blood has been shed once as an atonement for the sin of those who will call upon the Saviour for salvation. But you need to come to Him, Jesus Himself. You need to say, Jesus, save me a sinner. Jesus said, I will not reject any who come to me. But you must come to Him to be reconciled to your Heavenly Father. And then you will pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them who trespass against us. Well, that's an important point. I'll just uh, hesitate a moment there before I go on to the rest, if I can remember the rest from there. The point is this. You need to forgive others from the bottom of your heart. Jesus said if you do not forgive others from the bottom of your heart, you'll be handed over to the tormentors. Many today are in torment because they will not forgive. And you know, it's a choice of your will. I will forgive. I will not forgive that person. When you come to Jesus, every single sin you've ever committed will be forgiven, be remitted. As far as the east is from the west, so I have passed, cast your sins from me, your heavenly Father said. He will no longer bring them to remembrance. You know, when people sin against us, we say, yes, I, uh, I forgive, but I won't forget. Now then, the one almighty God forgets. He forgets our sin. He casts our sin into the sea of forgetfulness. Everything is forgotten and never brought up again. You know, it's terrible to live with a woman, let's say, who constantly reminds you of all the times you've got it wrong. And some men have to bear that. What a terrible way. Until they come to Jesus and they get all their sin forgiven and it gets totally forgotten. And then they are able, yes, in Christ Jesus, to forget the sins of their husbands. Yes. Isn't that a marvelous deliverance for a man to have a wife who no longer nags him about all the errors he's done? How marvelous. And isn't it wonderful to have an almighty God who totally forgets all our sins? That we enter heaven, we walk into that paradise of God, cleansed of all our sin, because 
of the Lamb of God, because of the one shed blood, because of the salvation of God, we can enter that holy place to walk the streets of gold, to breathe the air of an endless paradise forever, to sing the songs of Moses and of the Lamb. And we will look back on these days on this earth and we will reminisce, I'm sure, yes, and we will be uh, reminded, we will perhaps have a little meeting at the bottom of the ramp from the Newgate, New, uh, New Street Station, yes, just inside the city on the left. Oh, Amen. I hope to see you there. But the point is this, there is a place appointed. There is a heavenly mansion for all those who attain to that place because they've got a redeemer, they've got a saviour God, they've got the salvation of God, they are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb of God. Come back friend, you might if with a bit of patience get something. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, come to him, call upon his name, say yes to Jesus. He is, by the way, the provider. The moment I began to look to Jesus, I can look back now and say that God was a deliverer. God was the one who always provided for me because he became the ever-present one. The one who is always with you when you're in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, that's a friend. A friend who sticks closer than a brother. But you can know this Jesus today. You can know his salvation. You can know the Lamb of God. You can know the forgiveness of all your sin. You can know everlasting life. Will you come to this Jesus? Will you call on him today? Will you say, yes, Jesus? Forgive me, Heavenly Father, a sinner. I trust in the once shed blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse me of all my sin. I trust in nothing else, nothing I can do, nothing that any man might do for me. I trust in God's salvation. I trust in His redeeming blood. I come to the Lamb of God today. You know, Jesus will not reject you. Come to Him. He is the Saviour of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and you will be saved. Praise the Lord. Amen to that, sir.